my name is Mr. Taylor and I am a natural science specialist here at Roper Mountain Science Center with Greenville County Schools. We're in the ecology lab today where we feature animals and their environments. And did you know that all animals are adapted to survive in their environment? And we're gonna talk about these two birds that must be able to survive and find food in an environment like the salt marsh. Um, first, I like to talk about this ibis bird. This is, this is a young ibis and structural adaptations are body parts or body features that help that animal to find food or move away from prey or travel. So let's talk about some structural adaptations of this ibis that you might be able to observe. And the first thing that stands out that helps you identify an ibis is its downward curved beak. And they use that beak to probe around in the soft mud of a salt marsh at low tide. And they are able to feel prey in the soft mud by moving their head back and forth and probing around for food, like little fiddler crabs or snails or shrimp or marine worms. And they do it so well that sometimes other birds follow in their tracks of the food that they're able to stir up. And sometimes they're able just to use the beak to pluck bigger prey from the surface. But they use that beak like a tweezer in finding their prey in the soft mud. Now let's compare this wading bird to this larger wading bird, a great blue heron. Now, as you can see, its beak looks different. It uses its beak as a spear to spear and catch fish or frogs or crayfish uh, in the waters. And then once it catches a fish, or it, if it's not head first, it has to maneuver that fish so it's head first so it goes down easier in its beak. I want you to observe now the long legs that help this bird find its food and survive. It enables it to wade out into deeper waters uh, where it hunts for its prey. And I also want you to notice its feet. Uh, they're long and they spread out so it doesn't sink in the soft mud of the marshes. Uh, you can also look at the feet on the ibis. Uh, they're like snowshoes. Uh, they prevent it from sinking down uh, into that uh, soft substrate. Now I do hope that you can come back to our ecology lab. And when you look at the animals inside the ecology lab here in our exhibits, I want you to look closely at their body parts to see maybe how you can infer how they use those body parts or structural adaptations to survive.